Some interesting news tonight about a common vitamin that may help slow or even prevent type 2 diabetes. It's vitamin D, well known for its role in helping make strong bones. Dr. Max Goma is here now, though, to tell us about a new study that says it may also keep diabetes at bay. Doctor. That's right, guys. And you know, type 2 diabetes is by far the most common type. 30 million people in the U.S. have it. Type 2 diabetics make insulin, but their bodies aren't responding to it. And eventually, the insulin producing cells are exhausted and blood sugar goes up. That's where some people think vitamin D can help. You don't have to search for long on social media to find people touting the benefits of vitamin D in diabetes. Five to 8,000 I use of vitamin D every day. You might be able to actually minimize your risk. While its benefit is far from proven, there are reasons to believe that vitamin D could help with type 2 diabetes. There is uh, epidemiological evidence that it's associated with deficiency or at least low levels of, of vitamin D in blood. So there have been a number of studies asking the question, does vitamin D supplementation prevent or reduce the risk of developing type 2 diabetes? And that's what a new study in the prestigious journal Cell is working out. What is a possible molecular mechanism for vitamin D's benefit in type 2 diabetes? Researchers used insulin-producing beta cells made from stem cells and found that vitamin D interacts with genes in the nucleus in a way that reduces inflammation in a lab dish and in mice. If you then supplement human beings at risk for diabetes, that it would reduce their risk of beta cell failure, beta cell inflammation, uh, and, and a progression to full-blown diabetes in people at risk. Dr. Andrew Stewart directs the Diabetes, Obesity, and Metabolism Institute at Mount Sinai and says that while making beta cells more resistant to inflammation might stave off diabetes, it remains to be shown in humans. That's the goal of a major NIH study giving people at high risk for type 2 diabetes vitamin D supplements. Results are expected early next year. Now, many experts think that most of us are somewhat deficient in vitamin D because we're told to avoid the sun because of skin cancer, and we don't get much sun in the winter anyway. The good thing about vitamin D is that it's easy to get with supplements. Just be careful, not too much. Mm -hmm.